How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Loves and Whatnots. We are back at it again for another episode. It is a relatively windy Saturday morning, but there is hardly any clouds around for today, which is always a good sign that it's not going to be a wet day. I aren't feeling too crash hot, to be absolutely honest with you guys. I'm feeling a bit nauseated, but uh, I'm sure that we'll uh, get through the day either way uh, with a little bit of an upset stomach, but... There's not really much we can do at this point, but either way, we're going to get this day started so we can get back, hang out with the nephew for a couple of hours, play some games and everything else in between. So without further ado, guys, let's go. What a way to start the day. Holy guacamole. We usually leave here to get down to lawn about anywhere between 7.30 and 8. Usually about 10 to 8 is usually the time that we are, uh, as you would say, hitting the road. But today was a little bit different we uh, had to wait until the load came in the dairy and freezer so basically frozen goods like ice creams and frozen berries and whatever else so we had to sit around waiting for that to come in so it is now currently 11 o'clock in the morning so we're only just getting out of uh, matting lean now so uh, well, it's gonna take an hour 45 to get down to lawn maybe two depending on uh, traffic and everything else in between but uh, everything should run smoothly for a Saturday either way so we'll be on our merry way as we speak surprisingly enough no today guys is it's actually relatively quiet for a Saturday I did get stuck behind a little bit of traffic this morning but uh, yeah we're uh, as you'd say doing a good time which is good we're uh, probably another 15 minutes away from getting to where we need to be, which is good. We made it to Sunday. Yay. Best day of the week, I reckon. Uh, I, after yesterday's little effort of uh, having an eight-hour day, I've come to realise on how much we appreciate days off. Regardless if it's one day a week, two days a week, but not in the same day, uh, same, like, side-by-side, side, I do appreciate days like this. Uh, regardless of how windy it is and everything else in between so we just had to come down to do some recycling as you guys can see just here the little recycling plant that we got outside of work uh, it's a good little thing to have a little incentive to recycle more and i do like these little things you get a little bit of cash for their cans and bottles and everything else in between not only that we needed to do a little bit of shopping because we were as i say starting to get a little bit hungry so uh, came down and get myself a nice little chicken a nice little container to put it in and everything else in between so we're gonna go home dismantle this uh, particular food item and then uh, stuff our faces with food considering it's only about 20 past 10 in the morning we are as you would say hungry tell you what guys I cannot wait until all of this wind is gone Starting to get a bit sick and tired of sitting inside doing diddly bloody squat. I like to be outside doing stuff, hiking or fishing or some random thing instead of being stuck in friggin' slide all day. But uh, can't really do much of it at this given time. That's why we went down to the shop and grabbed some chicken so we can stuff our face with, uh, with some good old chicken. Now, coming to food. As you guys are probably aware, I don't know, I can't remember if I told you guys this, but uh, chicken will have to be my absolute favourite food known to mankind. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know how, but it is one of my ultimate favourite foods that I absolutely love going for. Another type of food that I like going for is beef. I like my steaks. But uh, if I had to choose to eat one food, indefinitely I'd have to say the chicken would be the uh, thing that I would go for each and every damn time got more bloody stuff on the bloody placemat than I do anywhere else that's all right it's all worth it at the end of the day, especially for a guy like me, who will always love his uh, chicken. I 
whether or not we can uh, fit all this chicken into this uh, tub, we'll soon find out. There's so much bloody juice on the, the bloody place, mate. I can't bloody believe it. But anyway, can't do much about it. All right, that looks pretty decent in my books. That's how much meat we got off the chicken. I'll put this back in its bag and then we can uh, chuck it in the rubbish bin. And then once we've done that, we'll take that rubbish bin lining out to the garbage. It's going out Tuesday, so having that in the thing for two days ain't gonna be too bad. It's not gonna stink up too much because I think that's got enough uh, stinky food in it regardless anyway, so. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Now that's all done. Chicken is chopped, pulled apart in the fridge. Dishes are all done. It is now time to sit on our backsides because there is not much else we can possibly do that I can think of off the top of my head. So I think some video games today would be the answer for all our problems for the time being. Now this is going to be interesting. I just checked the uh, weather station or the Fick Emergency app. It's saying that we're going to get a 130 kilometer an hour winds, which is about what 130 mile an hour. That can't be right. How can that be bloody right? <laughs> I don't know, but I know 60 miles 100k. No, there we go. Now it's now it's twigged. 70 plus mile an hour winds is what we're going to be getting later on today. Uh, even though it says it's going to be on the, along the coast, I know for a fact that a lot of the strong winds are going to come here. So what we're going to do just quickly today is get all these seats uh, tucked away somewhere up here, preferably somewhere in the corner there so that they don't go flying. So I'll get that uh, sorted out now and then we can go from there. It's a little bit better probably should pick that up and chuck it somewhere in the corner over there so it doesn't fly off on us during the night I'm definitely not having that out tonight without a doubt because all of that literally got ripped off the wall same with that uh, frame right there it just got ripped right off the wall one night when we had these strong winds and you can certainly tell it's picking up now Jeez. Probably going to be a sleepless night tonight, I reckon. I guarantee that few houses and trees are going to be put down and damaged. There's already two houses in the main street of town that way. Literally, one's right next to the police sta uh, fire station, and there's another one just down the road, so it's not looking good. Here I was really wanting to get out and have a fish and camp, or not camp, but uh, hike, fish whatever it is but uh, uh, it's a bit hard to do that comfortably with the, all this damn wind around so uh, hopefully once it's finished tonight we can uh, try and get out Tuesday but uh, it's still not looking good for the even then mm. seems like it's calmed down a little bit guys this might be the calm before the storm Mm, I'll have to keep an eye out on it regardless tonight when it comes out we uh, should really go down and grab a couple of things from the backyard before they go flying I think what I'll do before it gets too dark is get my esky and just put that in under cover somewhere there's not really anything else that we need to worry about except for a shovel there a shovel there but uh I'll have to deal with that in a minute because dinner has just come in. But either way guys, I'll keep you guys updated regardless of whether it's in this video or the next one. But I'll keep uh, updated, you guys updated either way. Alright, so I'm going to do the quick rounds. Grab up these shovels before it gets too, uh, as you would say, windy. Grab this, grab the one that's over there. 
And I'll go grab the Esky that's sitting down in the driveway. At least that way, if the winds do pick up, you don't have, as you would say, projectiles. Alright, that's all done. I even picked up the little twig thing that we had sitting there. So all that should be good to go now. Now I feel a little bit better. At least that way I won't get any projectiles going through the yard or someone's window or worse. But who knows guys, it might completely bypass us completely, but it's always best to be safe than sorry. I personally don't like the winds for a handful of reasons, which I think I've explained in the past, but either way, we are hoping that it does bypass us either way, but if not, and so be it. It's always good to be get yourself prepared for the worst either way. Uh, whether it's uh, going for a drive, whether it's bad weather, and everything else in between. And young Miss Becky is even trying to get high ground either way. But anyways guys, I've blubbered on too much yet again about weather and everything else in between. Don't worry, I, it is driving me insane as well. I just want to get out there and fish camp hike whatever else that it is that we want to do but uh with this weather around it's going to be excessively difficult either way but either way guys i'm going to love yous and leave yous i'll see you guys in the next video just remember to get out there stay happy stay positive and everything else in between and hopefully the next video will be of us fishing or hiking something along the lines either way but uh for now guys i'll see you guys in the next video until then guys keep it easy